OK, let's take a look at lambda functions inside Python code. But I said to understand lambda functions, it sometimes helps to look at the types of problems that they can help solve. So I have here, um, I've declared this presenters list that has uh, both Susan and Christopher, has our name and our age on it. But if I try to sort this list, I run into a problem because the sort function doesn't know whether to sort by the name or by the age. So if I actually go and run this code, and I know it's going to fail, hence my file name here, then you'll actually see it comes back and says, oh, no, you're getting a type error here. I don't know how to compare the less than. It doesn't know how to compare the two objects, because it doesn't know whether to look at the age, the name, the, the combination of name and age. It's, it's just messed up. So it doesn't know how to do the sorting. Now, sort by itself actually has a parameter you can use to simplify life. So one of the things you can do when you call sort is you can specify the key parameter. And you pass it a function name. And that, whatever function you pass to it, it will basically take the item in the list, pass that to the function, and the function then can return the value you want to use for sorting. So by specifying key equals sorter here, it now calls this sorter function, passes in the first item in the list, Susan, age 50, and says, oh, well, for Susan, age 50, the name is Susan, so sort by name, Susan. And then it does the same thing for Christopher, and it returns Christopher. So now it knows to sort by the names, Susan and Christopher. So now if I present that sorted list, let's run this code just to make sure I'm telling the truth here. And if we call that, you will see it will successfully sort the records by name. So Christopher shows first, and Susan shows second. So it's successfully done that sort. This works great, and you can write your code this way. But now let's show, take a look at how lambdas can make this a little more elegant, a little more compact. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm going to use a lambda. So I want you to remember, we had this presenters.sort, which was calling with a key of sorter, which was an explicitly declared function. But now I'm replacing that with one line of code. I'm no longer declaring a function that's explicitly named. Instead, my function is something called a lambda function. And a lambda to function is defined in a single line. The first value you specify is the name of the parameter. So this is going to accept a parameter called item. And it will return the item name. So the value you see here is the value returned by the function. The value here is the name of the parameter if it's passed into the function. So this is actually doing exactly the same thing that our sorter function was doing over here, accepting a parameter called item and returning item name. But instead of declaring that function explicitly, I'm saying make me a lambda function with this parameter and this return value. And when you run it, it does exactly the same thing. Um, and just to show that you can do more of it than just return a property, uh, there's actually a second one down here where I've declared a second lambda function. But this time, I'm sorting based on the length of the name, so based on the number of characters that the name has. So if we run this code, what we'll see just make her a nice clean green start with here. You'll see the first thing in one is when we have it sorted alphabetically, where our lambda function was just returning the item name. It sorts by Christopher first, then Susan, because in alphabetical order, Christopher comes before Susan. When I sort it by length, it sorts it by Susan first, because the name Susan has less characters in it than Christopher. So lambda functions, you can go for years with Python and never use them, but they're a very elegant solution for different types of code and something you might want to explore and something you're probably going to encounter the more you play with Python.